What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your $600 second stimulus check update and your $2,000 third stimulus check update and third stimulus package update. Are you excited? Yeah, there is a lot of uh, breaking news happening and will be happening in the next 24 hours as Inauguration Day happens. I know a lot of Republicans aren't excited for that, but they will be excited for the stimulus checks and packages coming out possibly as early as this week, as well as the executive orders that are not only coming from Joe Biden, but also President Donald Trump. He has passed several here within the last several hours. We're going to go over all the details of that, as well as the Senate changing hands and Mitch McConnell, who's also out the door, and Chuck Schumer, who's in the door. And we're going to go over all the breaking details and stimulus checks and everything stimulus related in this video. But first, if you haven't yet, subscribe down below. It's completely free to do so. This way you won't miss out on new stimulus check updates. And hit the bell icon so you get notifications when we go live, which is every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Time and sometimes at 11 p.m. And hit the like button for us down below and tell YouTube that you like these videos and I'm actually doing a good job. All right, guys, let's jump into it. Lots of breaking news happening now as we're starting to already get details about executive order and stimulus package plans and new presidential plans happening as Inauguration Day is less than 24 hours away, Joe Biden is expected to sign 12 executive orders on just his first day alone as president. And we're starting to get more and more information on this. And the Senate is already starting to confirm the cabinet placements for who will be in Joe Biden's cabinet. They're already starting on that today, which is a good sign because they're basically getting that stuff out of the way and getting members in his new cabinet. We're expecting several different executive orders that may help you guys out, including eviction bans, foreclosure bans, um, student loan payment freezing, possible student loan forgiveness. I don't know if we'll see that right out the gate. It'll be interesting to see if we do. He said that there will be multiple different executive orders that will help you economically as well as help Americans. He's, we're also expecting a mask mandate for anything on federal government property. So federal employees will likely have a mask mandate done by the president. He can't really do it any further than that for states because, well, the states pretty much have control of that, at least the way it's written right now. President Donald Trump is also very busy right now also. He's expected to do over 100 pardons today alone, possibly his family and acquaintances. There's a lot of debate if he's going to try to pardon himself also. A lot of legal scholars say that he can't do that. It'll be interesting to see if he does here. Today is his last final day. He has until noon tomorrow when Joe Biden will officially be inaugurated. He may give a farewell speech in the morning also, which we may cover. I may cover that on my other channel, The Daily Dirt. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to that, you can subscribe to that down below in the comments. My wife is doing videos on that, but she's kind of sick with food poisoning right now. She definitely threw up about 10 times last night. So yeah, not doing too good on her front right now. <laughs> Give her, give her a, a prayer or a, a wish for a quick recovery. So she's sleeping right now. It's not, not doing too good just yet. President Donald Trump did several executive orders here within the last 24 hours. As you can see on the screen, this is the actual whitehouse.gov uh, page for proclamations and executive orders. Just yesterday, multiple executive orders from President Donald Trump Executive order on protecting the U.S. from certain unmanned aircrafts. Executive order on ensuring democratic accountability in agency rulemaking. Executive order on protecting Americans from overcriminalization through regulatory reform. Executive order on protecting law enforcement officers, judges, prosecutors, and their families. Executive order on building the National Garden on American Heroes. Yeah, definitely a lot of information going on right now from President Donald Trump. We do not have word yet on his pardons, but we do have word on these several executive orders 
And honestly, he could do several more before he's out of office. It'll be interesting to see if any affect you guys in the form of uh, stimulus or anything related such as that. I will keep you updated on that as well. Also, big news in the Senate, several different pieces from the Senate. The Senate is going to be very important going forward as it's switching hands from Republican to uh, Democratic with the two senators that won the Georgia seats from uh, that are Democrats are going to be, they're not sworn in yet. Okay. So the Republicans that still have control of the Senate with Mitch McConnell, that is expected to change tomorrow as a Chuck Schumer and possibly the two Georgia senators, uh, Democratic senators will be sworn in tomorrow, but they are already starting cabinet proceedings for Joe Biden's new cabinet members in the Senate to get them kind of sworn in and start those proceedings. What's interesting, though, is because the Senate is still controlled by Republicans, at least probably until only tomorrow, uh, the head of the Senate kind of proceedings right now is headed by Republicans, but they're swearing in Democratic cabinet members. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting, but I think that'll all change tomorrow as Chuck Schumer said that he will be Senate Majority Leader as early as Wednesday and the two Georgia Democratic senators that won in those Georgia runoffs, I think, I have not seen information on that. I think they're supposed to be sworn in tomorrow also. And that's where things become exciting in the stimulus world because we know that they passed that $2,000 plus up bill in the House of Representatives called the CASH Act, which would have made your second stimulus check uh, greater and made it two thousand dollars so it's it's it, i know this gets kind of confusing for some people but basically we had the six hundred dollar second stimulus check and then president donald trump came along and said well this should be way more okay so the democrats ran with that and they're like all right cool we passed it in the house of representatives and then republicans didn't want to pass it mainly mitch mcconnell I mean, really, a lot of Republicans didn't want to pass it, but there was enough Republicans in the Senate to pass it. But Mitch McConnell tabled it and delayed it, and <laughs> the bill's still sitting on his desk today. Okay, so it was kind of weird because President Donald Trump is a Republican. He's the one that made that push for the make that $600 check $2,000, so basically add $1,400 to it. That's why we call it a $2,000 plus up bill. And and it's like President Donald Trump wanted it. He's the leader of the Republicans. They passed it in the House. 44 Republicans voted yes on it. And it was like 200 and some Democrats. 99% of the Democrats voted yes on it. And like 25% of Republicans. It's like, it's, so, it's like the parties are so divided. And then Mitch McConnell tables the bill. The bill's still sitting on his desk now. Well, it's Technically not, because the new, I, I forgot about this, the new Congress came in on like January, what was it, like 5th or something like that. So technically that bill's dead. Now they can repass it in the House of Representatives, but the new the new um, cabinet people, the new Senate is con coming tomorrow, basically. Chuck Schumer will be the leader now and no longer will be Mitch McConnell. So that's where things get really interesting because now Mitch McConnell will not be able to table any bills. He did this before with the HEROES Act and the HEROES Act 2.0. I know you guys remember those. Those both had $1,200 stimulus uh, checks in there. And this is not the first hundred, the first $1,200 stimulus check. This is another stimulus check that you would have gotten that passed the House and Mitch McConnell tabled them. Didn't even put him to a vote. They could have passed. But guess what? That cost Mitch McConnell, especially him delaying this cash act, that cost him. Those two Democrats in the Senate in Georgia, they won by the slimmest of margins, the slimmest of margins. And had it not been for Mitch McConnell delaying that $2,000 stimulus check bill, if he had just put it to a vote, just put it to a vote, man. Let, let's see if it passes or not. But no, Mitch, being a Mitch, this is he's been doing this for years. This is no surprise. Anything that any bill that comes to his desk, that he doesn't agree with, he literally just tables it. So that will no longer be able to happen, at least for the next two years. Now, remember, Mitch McConnell was just reelected, so he is the leader of the Republicans. He will now become the minority leader, which really 
takes away like 90% of his power. Okay, he can't table bills, which is the vast majority of it. And he no longer runs the Senate. It will be Chuck Schumer. But he was reelected for six years, so he will be in there for the next six years. At least for the first two years, he will not be Senate Majority Leader. Remember, the Senate is tied 50-50, and any tie-breaking votes go to the Vice President Kamala Harris, who's incoming tomorrow, which is why exactly he lost the Majority Leader, literally by one vote, okay? Had one vote gone the other way, Mitch McConnell would still be the leader, and then we'd be talking about a very different scenario for stimulus checks and stimulus packages going forward. So we're expecting to have the third stimulus check package bill officially revealed. It's been unveiled right now. It's 19 pages. I've showed it to you guys on this channel. It includes the $1,400 stimulus checks for adults, $1,400 stimulus checks for children, and $1,400 stimulus checks for adult dependents this time around which is really amazing because adult dependents were left out of the first and stimulus checks. They didn't get them at all. So now they're expected to get this third stimulus check. And it's also a possibility that they might get the first and the second one also because they were left out. And Joe Biden says that mistakes were made with that. And they might try to give them the first and st uh, second stimulus check for any adult dependents who didn't get the check. An adult dependent is somebody who is a dependent on somebody else's tax returns. So that's, uh, that's very good for them. I know a lot of you guys were in tears when you heard that because a lot of adult dependents, all, the, all adult dependents and college students did not get that third stimulus check if they were claimed as a dependent. So that's gonna be really good news. We have more mortgage and rental assistance coming in the third package, two different sets in the third package that just might pay your rent. Another $25 billion, actually three sets if I split them up this way, $25 billion in rental assistance that's going to go to all 50 states and get distributed kind of by population. Another $5 billion in, in mortgage, in uh, utility assistance and uh, some money for like your sewer, your water, your electricity to literally pay your bills for that. So $25 plus $5 billion with a B. And then $350 billion is currently in the third stimulus package to go to all the states. That's a lot of money, $350 billion. And we know that some of that money will come back around to you guys in another set of rental assistance because from the first stimulus package, the CARES Act, there was, um, how much billion were in there? God, I can't even remember at this point. The states and cities got like $300 billion from the first stimulus package, and some of that money was redistributed to you guys in the form of rental assistance. Now, all that first stimulus package money is gone. The second stimulus check package has $25 billion in rental assistance that goes to you guys. It literally goes to all 50 states. It's going there right now. And then when the states get the money, they will start distributing it to you guys in the form of state and local city and local county rental assistance program. So that money is on its way right now. We might see that as early as this week start to go out. I think I started to see some comments that people uh, were saying that their rental assistance programs from their cities and states were gearing up. If you know anything, comment down below. I will be going through them once they go live, like New York, and California, and Texas, and all these different states and cities. I showed you guys a lot of them last night from previous packages, all those previous programs for rental assistance will likely be reopening for you guys. So we're expecting that. We're expecting a raise on unemployment, boost money going from $300 per, to, uh, per week to $400 per week. And we're expecting that to get extended all the way to September 30th also. So we're also expecting uh, presidential executive orders, there's going to be a lot going on. There's a possible student loan forgiveness and a possible raise of $200 per month of Social Security increase for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, railroad benefits of $200 per month. Now, we've seen two different plans, one that goes until the pandemic is over and then another one that could go in perpetuity. So if you're on Social Security or anybody you know is on Social Security, 
Joe Biden, this comes directly from JoeBiden.com in his economic rescue plan. He wants to raise Social Security by $200 per month or $2,400 per year for Social Security. So I know a lot of you guys are very excited about that. I see your comments. I feel your pain. I know a lot of you guys say, I only live on $690 a month, um, $600 a month, $700 a month on SSDI and stuff like that. And $200 extra per month will help you guys out greatly, immensely. Well, guess what? Joe Biden is in office in less than 24 hours. This is his plan. This is literally coming directly from him. So kind of the, the whole ball game changes in the next 24 hours when Joe Biden comes in and Mitch McConnell is. And it's not that I'm a Republican or I'm a Democrat or I'm against one side or another. This is just what's happening. So it just is what it is. I personally don't think that the Democrats will be able to hold both the House and the Senate because they have such narrow leads. And I just personally feel I, I feel they'll only be able to hold it for two years until the next election, because I feel like one or the other will probably give. And I feel like a lot of Republicans will go out in droves to vote more when the next election comes up, not the presidential election, but every two years there's a House of Representatives and Senate elections, all the House members are up for re-election every two years. And about one third of the Senate is up for uh, re-election every two years because senators serve six-year terms. So in two years, they're going to be up for re-election again and re-vote. And I just have a feeling that the Republicans will take over either the House or the Senate. The Senate's literally tied 50-50. So if the Democrats lose one vote there, the Republicans will ha will take it, and they have a very slim margin in the House also. So the Democrats basically have two years, two years to cram all this stimulus through and Social Security increases, student loan forgiveness, and everything that Joe Biden has on his own website that he wants to do and these Democrats want to do. And remember, they can do it without any Republican votes at all through the reconciliation process, which, which only requires 51 votes. So yeah, there's going to be, the Wall Street Journal calls it the era of never-ending stimulus, or was it unending stimulus? I showed you guys that article last night. Yeah, it's true. It's, I mean, it's just like some people don't like it and most people love it. It's just, it's not that I'm picking sides. It's just, it is what it is. They're going to be able to pass these packages with 51 votes. And they have 51 votes because they have 50 Democrats. And then a tiebreaker vote goes to Vice President Kamala Harris. So they're going to be able to pass these stimulus checks and stimulus packages at, on their own. And we're getting brand new information about it now because we're less than 24 hours away. So make sure to subscribe down below. It's completely free to do so. Click the bell icon so you get notifications. New videos come out every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern time. So just remember those times. Those are Eastern times so if you're in a different time zone. You'll have to adjust, but just remember those times and just tune into YouTube on those times. Type in It's Jimmy or get the notification. Sometimes the notifications don't go out. They've YouTube's been a little bit buggy lately. So just remember those times and just tune in and I'll give you guys the latest information on everything stimulus related. You can click this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And I teach people how to sell products on Amazon FBA and replace their nine to five income. If you're interested in starting a business selling products on Amazon, you can watch this video next. Click on one of them to watch them next. Thanks guys. And I will see you in the next video.